In this video, I'll demonstrate how we painted the denim on two of our criminal elements models. Uh, the method for both is the same, just using a different base blue, uh, but the highlight colour will be the same for both. I'll demonstrate both of them just for clarity. So for this model, um, I used the base coat of uh, this Vallejo pale blue colour. Um, any sort of pale blue will be absolutely fine, and you can see uh, with a scale 75 uh, Caspian blue, which I use quite often, is how I painted some of these agent figures, um, using exactly the same methods for highlights otherwise, um, but just changing the base colour. And it's really interesting how changing that base colour can really alter the final finish, even with just using two colours. Okay, so the light blue might look a bit too pale at the moment, um, but don't worry about that, it's absolutely fine. Um, okay, so now that base coat's dry, I'm going to mix the base coat colour with a very small amount of yellow. Um, this is the yellow I'm using again, it's a Vallejo, a Vallejo Sand Yellow in this case, and but I've also used this uh, Citadel Dawn Yellow. I tend to find sometimes the Vallejo colours have got a bit more of a matte finish which I like. So for the first layer I want to put a little bit of white um, water in there as well. I just want to put very loose highlights. Try and keep the direction exactly the same di uh, angle. So I'm just going horizontal across. Kind of really roughly mimics the stitching almost. Or gives like a really nice idea of texture or fabric. So I'll do the main areas of wear. So like tops of thighs, knees, the ass of the jeans, it's all the like tops of some of the creases. It's all really, really loose at this point, as you can see. It gives like quite a nice warm hue. It might seem a bit weird using yellow, um, but it's a lot more sort of like warm and less pastel or chalky than if you use just pure white. Pure white can sometimes look a bit too harsh. So for the next highlight, I'll just add in a little bit more. Do exactly the same. They're not covering quite so wide area. So for this, I really concentrate on the knees and thighs don't do quite so much on the back, but it's just like put some in there. We can go in and just exaggerate some of these little recesses as well with a really light wash. I try, I'm, I'm trying to avoid using washes lately is because I find sometimes things can be a bit too glossy and especially when I'm photographing new releases it can be a real nightmare to photograph. So you basically just keep adding small amounts of the yellow and just doing the same thing. Maybe make the lines slightly further spaced apart, slightly finer as you go. But the method's exactly the same. The mix might start to look quite green, but that's absolutely fine. When it's on the model, it really works. So you see, I'm not really applying much pressure. I'm just sort of like flicking the tip of the brush across. And you can sort of start to see the sort of like the exaggerated lines. I'll probably do a very final, just pure yellow. And this is going to be quite sparing, so otherwise it would look a little bit strange. Just, just always like dots and scratches. I 
But there, that's um, that's basically how we did the pale denim. Okay, for this darker blue, um, I'm going to use Incubi Darkness as the base coat. Um, some other colours that work well are the Dark Reaper from Citadel, and also I have used the um, Night Lord's blue as well. That does work quite nicely. I think I like Incubi Darkness. It's got an ever so slight, like almost like sea green colour to it. Uh, so you get quite a nice tone. It's a little bit warmer and contrasts nicely with that pale blue. Okay, so I've applied the base coat already um, and we're just going to proceed and do exactly the same thing as before. You have to be a little bit more careful about how much yellow you put in because it's a much more stark contrast. So I put a tiny, tiny amount in to start with and then mix a bit of water in as well and just in exactly the same way as before. Just apply it in horizontal lines, top of the thighs, and on the knees. You can pick out some of the details like the zip, some of the other creases. Let me do exactly the same and add a small enamel. You can see the contrast is much higher because the base colour is so much darker again. Be quite a nice warm finish. Again, if we had used white to do this highlight, it would immediately look really harsh like very chalky and sort of unnatural. Probably won't do quite so much of a highlight on this one just because the base coat's so dark. But you can really sort of, you can see the so sort of texture and the motion I'm doing a bit better maybe on this one. I think denim is, is probably one of my favourite things to paint just because it's so effective and I think it immediately tells you it's a modern miniature. So every time I go on it, it's got a slightly, slightly more yellow to it again. I won't do too. I'm always nervous about how far I can push it. There have been times where I put slightly too much in and then had to go back. This will probably be the final highlight, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably, that's probably it for this one. So there. Again, really effective, very quick. I hope this has been useful. Um, check out the rest of our videos. And if there's anything you want to see how we've painted, then drop us a message or a comment.